everybody, everybody, sorry for this, I don't know what you would call it, but we are back. If you are watching this for the first time, welcome to the Atomic Bear Show. For the people that were watching earlier and it was kind of slow, buffering, we didn't really know what was going on, we apologize, but we are back. I'm not sure if anybody is getting this, and they are, because here they come. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Spearhead? How crazy was that? So, what's up, Monica? I can finally see y'all stream now. Definitely. Happy Thursday, guys. Hope everybody's having a good Thursday. And if you missed the little intro that I had earlier, we got Jeff with us. It has been a crazy week, but I will skip all that for the people that are live. Welcome to the show, guys. I am going to go ahead, bring in Jeff. And let's do this thing. What you think, Jeff? I think we might have it this time. Yeah, hopefully we'll have it. Every, hi, everyone. Um, I name everyone. I send the chat. And uh, Matthew, you can see the chat. I cannot see the chat. It seems that the video, the previous video is still live. It says live now. So I guess it's um, it's just us uh, now. Hopefully, the, like, guys, tell us what you're seeing, if it's everything, if everything's all right. But I'm uh, super excited to be here um, and have a chance to uh, chat with you and get your um, reaction from the glass break. Um, and, uh, oh, I think I just uh, lost. Can you hear me, Matt? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I think I lost my... Um, your headset? Um, my connection. So you, can you hear me? I just... Um, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Um, do you want to work on it? I can hold the fort down. It's up to you. Yeah. Interesting. I will <laughs> just go with that. Yeah. So while he is fixing the audio for there, y'all, how crazy has this stream been? We try to start, do something, then just bam. It's been one thing after another with it. But what's going on, Butch? I ain't talk I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in forever. What's up, Richard and Big Spearhead? At least when you froze, you were grinning. Well, that's always a plus right there. Jeff, nod your head if you were ready to come back in. Boom. Damn. All right. What you got for us, dude? You back? Yeah, I'm back. So I would like to know what you guys think about this uh, this uh, glass breaking video. Like, um, um, did you have any stories in your area about, um, you know, someone being stuck in a car? Um, and I know Matt in Florida, what, what it looks like, but... I remember a story here in uh, Montreal, like it's been uh, like maybe three years. Um, a guy just went to work, forgot to uh, uh, leave his kids to the daycare, parked his car, went to work and came back after work. And the kid was um, was uh, dead in the car. Um, mm. So, yeah, that's terrible. And it, it's the second time I remember hearing this in this, uh, in this city and it's not a huge city here. Um, so this is terrible and, um, stories like that pop up here and there. Uh, if you look on online on the, on, on the web, um, uh, if people don't get to see the, the chill, the child in the car, um, you know, uh, there's not much that you can do when the temperature goes to, you know, um, Ooh, yeah, down it's, here. It's, yeah. You, last summer they were saying, check your car, you know, for your kid and just trying to remind everybody because, there has been a few incidences like that down here as well. And it's super sad, but I'm at least glad that the information's getting out there because, yeah, down here in Florida, it gets so hot that they'll have it on the interstate. Like, check your back seat, you know, and everything. But having that pin, let's just say that you pulled up and you saw, you know, a kid that was in the back seat, can't get it, nobody's around, you don't have anything to break it open with. And I don't know if you've seen the video, but there's a video online, and it's a guy trying to break um, a window with a hammer, and he just can't do it, and it's popping back, and he can't bust it. But just like that, but having that little tip on the pin, just, I mean, right there in your door, even if you don't have it on you, I mean, that's life-saving, you know, potential just having it on you. So, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it, exactly. And, uh, you know, like animals as well, like uh, some animals forgot in the car. No, no. And if you leave like uh, half an inch of uh, you in the open in uh, under the sun, it's not going to cut it. So, um, you know, yeah. So and just looking at when you walk in a car park, you just 
pay attention to the cars and pay attention to what's around you. Um, and yes, you're right. Like there's plenty of videos online you can find, even police or uh, or um, law enforcement or even paramedic trying to get in a car without the the, the firefighters or people who are properly equipped. And they, they're trying to break through the glass, the, the window of a glass. Even with a baseball bat, it's not easy. It's yep. just a matter of the um, the fact that the um, the, the window is uh, is bouncing back. Um, but if you get to hit it with something that is really hard, as a hard texture, a bit like diamond is super hard, uh, you get to um, to crack it, and it it just um, make a little this little hole, and with a little bit of pressure, it just cracks open, and um, that's pretty uh, that's pretty interesting that uh, the, the way glasses are, are 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 behaving. So I don't know if you guys um, like comment. Let us know what you guys what what you've seen in your um, in your area and lately. Uh, have you seen any uh, any um, bad news or have you heard of anybody saving someone? Like I I'm referring in, a, in a, the interview with Yehuda, a um, a guy that contacted us saying I saved someone, uh, a, ki a kid from a, um, a car. And it's an interesting interview that oh, wow. you can, if you scroll down in our channel, you'll find this. His name is Brian Lamb. And uh, the guy is telling the story. And it's pretty uh, chilly. Like just thinking that you would be the parent. She, The woman had locker keys in the car. She didn't have a cell phone and the kids were still in the car. She couldn't get in. She could call for help. And this employee of Home Depot uh, eventually uh, heard of that, and he ran with his uh, swap pen. Um, and he asked the mom, "Do you want me to break open uh, your car and your your car went your car to the window?" And she says, "Yes." He says, "I just went a little um, hit there, and the, the glass opened. Obviously, he didn't do it next to the kids. Like he went to the window that was safer for the kids, and uh, get got the kids out. And the mom was so relieved, and maybe I don't ten. 10 to uh, 15 minutes later, um, the, the police came. Um, so, you know, that these are pretty chilling stories. Yeah, and I know that they're chilling stories, but I'm going to, uh, I'll show something that might lighten the mood a little bit. I found the uh, video of the guy trying to break the window. Oh, So, okay. y'all, this is, uh, it's not too long, but this might kind of, you know, at least laugh about it. Let's see what we got. Or I won't. Hmm. Well, I don't know how much volume we're going to get with it, but let's see. Bam. All right. Looks like I'm having problems on this end, too. I'm telling you guys, I, like, ran in here with it, and it looks like... Jeff, you can't hear me? You can't hear me? Say yeah. something. Oh, you yeah. can? Okay, cool. I just got your message. Could you not hear me a second ago? Yeah. Boom. But now everything's good? I don't know, man. So, that was supposed to be funny, but it was a total fail. So, what else is going on, dude? <laughs> uh no i i saw the video actually i think it yeah. went on the live stream so uh, i think yeah. that's interesting and then there's another video where guys are trying to break open car uh with a um with a shovel like they're just trying to break the the glass with a shovel and it didn't work uh one interesting piece of uh advice that i think you would give is like the the area that you you better hit the car the car windows are the, the corners, the bottom corners. I don't know if it was clear enough, guys, in the in the in the the video, but like the corners are best and um, not the windshield, obviously. And the glass is not too like it's not going to be very small piece of glass. It shatters, but the piece of glass are like big enough so you don't have like little piece of glass cutting you or getting into your skin or your your clothes. So. Um, I think um, not everybody has a chance to practice this, but I mean, um, it's a good, uh, it's probably a good thing to uh, give it, like to have a, a go if you have a chance one day, because um, 
when that happens, for example, if you get stuck in a car that is getting in water and you have to get out, well, you better know what you're doing because you don't have uh, an hour to get out of your car. So, and often the pressure of the water won't let you out. So, um, you know, that's pretty much a, um, uh, a good thing to have a, a glass breaker. Either it's a tactical pen or you can also buy some sort of a glass breaker with a, a, um, a seat belt cutter. And I think this is a good idea to have one and also um, know how to use it. Yeah, um, Redneck Radio is in the chats, and he was saying it might work better if he had a straight claw hammer and used a claw. Yeah, you know, with the shatterproof glass now, you know, like back in the 50s, I don't know if you saw this, and this is just kind of a fun fact, Ripley's Believe It or Not, because back in the day before the, you know, the shatterproof glass that keeps, you know, the cracks from running, you would get one crack in your window and it would, and your whole thing's gone. So they had what's called a blow up windshield and you would yeah. blow it up and install it on your car and your windshield wipers even would work with it. And it was just blown up in case a rock ever hit your windshield. Then they came out with this, you know, the glass proof stuff and they're saying if you ever in water... Don't try to kick out your side windows. Kick out, you know, your front window. That's why you always see kind of in the move them kicking, you know, the front window out. And I don't know how much truth is to that. I've never had to kick out a window. But that was um, the shatterproof glass. I'm just trying to think on the sides, even with the newer vehicles. Are they putting that on the windows now as well? Yes. So um, the the windshield is very hard to shatter to to break with that. They, like the the guys I've tried with the uh, to to break the car window the the, the windshield and that they, they, they couldn't break it. There's a film of plastic that obviously if if this breaks you don't want to have a piece of, of glass to go through your um, to you because you're sitting in the front. And also um, I think the uh, the windshield is also an extra is is more rigid for protection. So you don't want the window to break and, and if a, a rock or something goes on it. So the best way they found was the rear windows and the side windows. And I've seen this uh, multiple, multiple videos where uh, if, you, if you're having like um, a tactical pen or something to break a, a glass, go on the, the side windows. Um, so um, it's, it's going to break easily. And in the video, like the, the rear window is just uh, a joke. If you hit well the the rear window you'll got you're getting it gonna have the whole thing shattering and falling down yeah that was uh, my next question about the rear you know yeah there but if you're in like a honda civic or something where there's not you know you have this much space on your back windshield and it's kind of at a slant i'm just thinking of my old honda civic that i had you know it would be hard to kind of climb up there but in a truck or you know van something with a big back window that might be your best option is kind of if you can make it back there so yeah, Butch uh, Green is saying uh, it, pu it pushes out, don't doesn't break. So um, mm -hmm. basically, what you guys are seeing is if you're sat in front and you want to open the uh, front uh, window, you don't have anything to break your uh, the glass of the side windows. You can try and push with your feet and and Take just try to um, yeah. to push it out. Mm -hmm. Is that what you guys are, are saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow up car window. They need one for. A door window. Yeah, I think this was like, like I said, in the 50s, maybe okay. the 60s. But it was on Ripley's, believe it or not. But I thought that was pretty cool because I guess, you know, rocks will fly up, especially back then. And bam, and their whole windshield was gone. But <laughs> I don't know. I guess um, back then it would be a lot easier to use that tactical pen. But that, so you're saying is, so if I'm hearing you right, use the back two windows and then you want to aim at your corners. Yeah, the lower corners for the side windows, uh -huh. and in in the back, the um, the, the um, upper corners, um, because one, they're more accessible. You don't have to like kind of go and and especially if you're inside, mm -hmm. um, uh, the 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 upper end of the the corners. Okay. And you, you have to like to to think that the whole window is gonna collapse at once. Um, like you guys seeing in the video, like. The more, because he, he broke uh, five of them, and the more he broke, the more he got to break them, the more he learned to not put as much strength. So he got, at some point, it was maybe six inches from the window, he just did with the thing, and the window just, uh, just shattered and broke. 
So it's a matter of not putting too much strength, so you don't have you, your your hand doesn't go through the wind the the, the the glass when you're breaking because if you have an all inertia and you just um, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, going all strength in, you go through as opposed to just doing this. Um, that will be enough to. Uh, so now I'm and doubly like you have to be careful. Don't drop this on your on your phone glass. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna shatter your phone glass. It's <laughs> something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, Monica. I just saw Monica was saying the uh, atomic bear pen are in on his on her um on her gift uh, list or Christmas, Christmas list. Yeah. Fa- like the family list for Christmas. Yeah. I think it's a, it's actually a good idea to um. It's a, some it's something that is pretty cool, and and you can keep yourself safe. Um, you can use the MTP6 pen, for example, or any of the the pen. You can use it to defend yourself if you need to. Uh, but even if you don't need to defend yourself, it's an extra layer of protection. And uh, as you guys will see, Matt and I are preparing um, a video where we're going to show you how you can use a tactical pen for different things other than self defense and. Um, Glass breaking, so it's. Pretty, I think it's gonna uh, be an interesting video. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is outside of the box, and yeah. I'm spending this weekend doing my part on it. But um, yeah, we definitely have that coming. But man, I don't know if you wanted to keep going. I apologize, guys, that it's all on me tonight. But I got here and then just bam, 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 one thing after another. But we didn't forget about you and. I rush back to definitely get here. But, man, do you have anything before we get out of here? Do you still want to um, – no, I yeah. have a question for you. If, um, yeah, go ahead. So you're busting out a window and you're going – you're trying to hit the – are you coming down or are you going straight with your pin? Meaning yeah. you're, even if you're hitting the upper corner, are you trying to almost hit it like this or are you coming straight ahead on those corners? Does that make well, sense? Well, I don't think it's super important. I think the the best uh, the best angle is a is a straight angle. But if you're a bit on the on the uh, on the side, I think it's all right. But the the best angle is definitely a straight, straight. one because you have the little uh, the the um, the sharpest edge being uh, into the, the the glass. And these shots that you you can see on the the video ads are actually uh, showing a pen that is like like perpendicular to the uh, the surface. Um, it doesn't matter. And it's a matter of like if you're in the side windows and you're um, outside, you may want to use it this way. If you're um, tr- outside trying to get the the rear window, you will come up with uh, like from um, from the top like this, mm-hmm. and still uh, you want to hit the uh, surface uh, in a perpendicular way to have the um, the most impact. Cool. Cool. I I wanted to add something. Yeah. Uh, you guys have, may have seen it or not in the video, but there's um. A part where, say, if you want to win one of our tactical pens, and some of you guys, I know I have two or three of them, maybe more than that, uh, but still, you can give it as a, a gift, or um, like if your son or daughter are graduating or something, there's always a reason to give a pen. If you want to enter to win uh, your pen, uh, just um, go to theatomicbear.com forward slash win a pen. And it's in the description on the original video that uh, the glass breaker pen, not the live one, or maybe it's copied a live one, but uh, I look in the description, oh, I also put it there. Um, and enter and you have a chance to win. It's, um, it's pretty cool. And um, last week we had 19 people entering. So, you know, you have a lot more chances to win a pen that your grandma has to win and bingo for sure. So <laughs> just go there and enter uh, to win. And um, I think that's uh, that's an easy an easy one. Yeah, and I uh, was reading, and Amy was asking about underwater, and then somebody else came in below them talking about uh, oh, it was William. So pressurized submerged vehicles. You know, if you're underwater, and it's funny because whenever you were talking about it, I was thinking, all right, if I boom, you're off the bridge, it kills your electronics. So you can't roll down the window, you can't do anything, your battery's done, everything's shot. If you have a sunroof, I wonder how shatterproof that sunroof is, and if you could get... God, there's, yeah, the side windows are going to be your best, but I might do a little bit of research on that. Do you know anything about breaking it underwater, if that has any effect? No, 
I, I don't know if I was underwater. Like you, like the number that the, the challenge is obviously the seat belt. So you want to first get off, get your seat belt, you like take your seat belt off, and then the next the next step is to get. Um, um, what I, I don't know. There's a technique I'm trying to to remember that that is super easy. But you have to wait until there's water in the car. It's a bit. It's so stressful. I don't know if I could do that. And then they can open the the, the, the car window on the side without pressure. Um, but they open their um, their uh, the window. What I I would do is that the, I don't know about the sunroof if if it's uh, protected or anything. But I would I, you could try that and come up uh, from the the top of the the car or um, and um, what else? Um, yeah, the side windows. Uh, as long as your car is not fully, like the windows are not pressured, uh, you should be able to um, break it open. I would even think that if there's pressure in the window, breaking it will, will not be a problem either. I think the, the breaking it is not, will not be affected by the, the yeah. water pressure. And you know what but I was obvious, thinking yeah. is, um, am I still sharing that screen with you? Yeah, you are. So I can see uh, the comments. Oh, okay, cool. So you can't see me, but you can see the comments. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hey, so, I'll, I'll leave it like that then. Um, <laughs> so, but what I was thinking, okay, so your engine's going to be heavier, right? So whenever you are going off, let's just say golf bridge, and now you're in water, the front end is going to sink first. Well, the weakest window, as we were saying, is going to be your back window. So yeah. technically, you're going to be sinking, and let's just say that you're in a truck, okay? Here's the front of the truck. It's going to start doing this almost at a vertical angle all right think of like titanic or whatever it's going down so you might be able to get a better uh angle on that back window so that might be a plus that might be a yeah. window to try as it's you know sinking there's just thought throwing it out there just break all the windows so that's you it. Can go get back out. after you break one swim back in there and break the other ones yes. that's it man but what's up, everybody? Um, I'm glad y'all stopped by. I need a rebel pin. I don't, I don't know what a rebel pin is. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, didn't Myth Busters do an underwater car escape? I don't. Know. Oh, we should we should look it up. Yeah. Probably yes. I wrote yes. down. I wrote down. Um, you know, car in the water, and well, we might have to play around with something like that. We'll uh, we'll take Ben. And drive his car off a bridge, Jeff. <laughs> and if he can get out, then the tactical pin works. If he can't, then, you know, we'll say, okay, well, we failed on this one. But I'll type in Myth Busters on it. But, yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if this started out as just a big, I don't, I don't even want to say the word that it started out as, but a big cluster of mess is just what we'll say. But, I am glad that y'all hung with us, and I love seeing y'all every single week here in the comments section. I know Jeff does. Jeff, man, you got anything before we get out of here? Well, I would say, guys, uh, thank you for joining. And even though if it um, uh, like the, the start was a bit uh, bumpy, uh, I mean, it's always a pleasure. And uh, keep sending us your comments. Uh, if you haven't liked the video and you liked it, the Glassbreaker video, go there and like it. You know, the, the way it works for with YouTube and for us is like more people subscribe, the more people like, uh, the more what we do has uh, visibility and more people get to know uh, about glass breaking, about safety, about all the things we're discussing. And I, I believe that the more people hear about these things, uh, the, the safer uh, we are in our world. I, I want to have someone, uh, my neighbors, to know how to save me out of the car if something happened to me. Uh, and I'm just, um, you know, so just go there and uh, subscribe, share, like comments, like all the interactions there are a signal for YouTube that this content is good. And uh, that's super important for us. And it's super important for um, for uh, your community as well. So, again, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm su super happy that at least um, some people join us after, even though it took some time uh, to, to go live and we had some bumps. Uh, so you guys are really, really rock solid. And thank you for your support. And um, thank you for being there. And Matt, I know you've been super overworked this week. It's been a crazy week, you told me. And I, 
I thank you so much for being there. And um, yeah, so that was an awesome uh, show, even though bumpy. Yeah, hey, super bumpy, but definitely made it. And next week is going to be so much better. And we actually, like he was saying, we got some cool videos for you coming next week. For sure, hold our feet to the fire. And if y'all don't get them, just yell at us and don't ever come back. But we definitely have some videos coming. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Spearhead, Butch, William, Amy, Michael, Jenny, Redneck, Brendan. So we had some good little many people. Good little many people, Jeff. Good many little people. But, again, <laughs> thanks for watching the Atomic Bear Show, guys. That was Jeff. I am Matt, and we will see y'all right here next Thursday, right after the premiere. And we doing 825-ish? Is that kind of what we're thinking on the time, Jeff? Yeah, right after the video, like the time, depending on how long the video is, we'll just go live after. So hopefully right after, not like uh, 20 minutes after. Right. Uh, but the plan is to go live right after the video. So cool. get to the premiere, and then uh, we start chatting about it. Bam. So you heard it here first, guys. Thanks for watching. You know we love you, and we'll see y'all in the next one.